for Lester Crest? Who's asking? Who's asking? Who's asking? You're awful cagey. <laughs> <clears throat> Even for a dead man, Michael. Ooh, you don't sound good, buddy. <laughs> Tactful and charming, even in death. Hey, come see me, old friend. I'm living in Los Santos, just like you. Marietta Heights. Whoa, whoa, wait. Hey, how do you... Hello? You fucker. Doc, hey. Michael, well, I'm looking through my appointment book and I don't see your name. Yeah, well, I'm more of a walk-in guy, Doc. You know that. Walk-ins are more expensive, but I'm always happy to accommodate. Sure, you'll accommodate me as long as I got money in my pocket, right? Hey, I'm in a bad way, Doc. I might come by soon. You got lucky, buddy! Come in, Michael. Uh, yeah, thanks, Doc. How have you been? Oh, good. Things been good. No, actually, things ain't been good. Things been a far fucking way from good. I've been uh, acting out. That's what you would call it, I think, right? Acting out. So what exactly has been the problem? I'm not good, Doc. Not good at all. I'm sorry to hear that. Tell me. I don't know. I guess we've been having these conversations long enough that I, I can recognize a trigger when I see one. You know? Shit that's gonna put me right over the fucking edge. Like my family. My son. <laughs> my daughter. 
My wife, well, especially my wife. I mean, they just set me right off, Doc. You know, there's been this episode. You know, actually, it was a culmination of a series of episodes. I, I pulled this Mexican's house right off the fucking hill. I mean, I, I think I'm back in it, Doc. I'm back into life. I mean, I gotta make some money, and there's only a couple ways I know how to do it. You feel the need to explain your decisions, Michael. Take responsibility. So, any other violent urges, friend? Yeah. <clears throat> Even on the way over here, I think I killed someone. And you know what? I don't care. I'm sick, Doc. I'm a sick, hypocritical fuck. I agree. Which is why you should really bulk buy a batch of sessions. I really just want to be happy, Doc. Is that so bad? Okay. And what about your sexual behaviors? I've been a really good boy, Doc. Really good. Not one problem. I'm glad to hear that. Really glad. Keep working it. This is great. I just ain't myself right now, Doc. Not since my life went crazy. You're plainly addicted to chaos. Well, I'm not sure that's true, Doc. <laughs> I'm not exactly enjoying myself here. You know, what I'm addicted to is not getting killed. But for some reason, I keep getting my ass into situations where getting killed is a little hard to avoid. What about the people you kill? Well, yeah, but that's not for fun. Are you sure? What exactly are you asking, Doc? Am I a psychopath who enjoys suffering? Or a sociopath who doesn't give a flying fuck about the rules? Come on, we've already had this conversation, right? I'm neither. I'm just a fat, washed-up jock who can't get his head around the fact that his high school football career didn't play out the way that he planned. The only way I'm content and, and competent is with a gun in my hand or a price on my head. You're very defensive, Michael. Do you consider yourself a failure? I pay you to listen to my problems. I'm rich. I'm miserable. I mean, half the time, my kids can't stand me. The other half, my wife is cheating on me. I kill people without remorse, Doc. No, I'm pretty average for this town, really. I, wait a minute, that's the shot. <laughs> I, I, I think I'm having a breakthrough here, Doc. Th this, I think, no, no, I know that I'm just terrified that I'm I'm sure gonna... you are, but that's really all we have time for. <sighs> See you next time. Okay. I cannot come to the fore right now. Call back.
Watch your linear entertainment. Go watch porn. Just go away. Shit. Fuck you! What the fuck? Disrespectful little asshole. I can't believe you did that. That's my TV. You don't talk to me like that. I can't believe you. Mom was right about you. You don't know any better and you can't help it, but you're an asshole. Yeah, well, why don't you do something then? Besides just stand there. Why don't you hit me? Is that what you want? To be hit by your son? Yeah. No. I just... I want you to do something besides sit there eating. Yeah, great. Thanks for the fucking guidance, Dad. It means a lot. Wait. I'm just trying to help you. Yeah, well, nothing says I love you like smashing my fucking TV. Nothing at all. <laughs> I'm sorry. I just wish we could do things together. Yeah, what things? I don't know. Uh, go for walks. Play ball. You know I have bad glands. Yeah. Uh, bike ride, then. Bike ride? You want to go on a fucking bike ride? Fine, fine, let's go on a fucking bike ride. <sighs> Fuck me. We'll take a bike ride along Vespucci Beach, and I'll show you just what you want to see. This day was going so well until you showed up. You know that? Ugh! Yeah, well, you're lucky to even be allowed out of the house after that boat stunt. What's the big deal? If anything goes wrong, you can just fake your death and start all over. Oh, my to develop my own moral sensibilities when yours are so unbelievably fuck-faced. Don't push me. Seriously, some guys borrow your bow. You're driving like a psychopath, Michael. Do you realize that? Or are you so high on your own outmoded sense of masculinity that you think this is normal? Shut your pie hole. What the what? fuck? Shut your pie hole. I think we'll both be happier if we can spend as little time in this vehicle as possible. God, you think I've got learning difficulties, huh? Take a good long look in the mirror, pal. I'm not the one who doesn't respect my fellow human beings. No, not unless they're a spick, or a jew boy, or an ass munching homo. Oh, there was me thinking there's a difference between witty banter arising from a sense of competition. Witty? Really? And mowing someone down in the street? Hey, I never said you had learning difficulties, Jim. Well, I do, and you never cared. I just said that Dr. Freelander thought that maybe you had problems relating to people. Relate to my asshole, old man. Here we are, the bike rental place. Please don't shoot the bike rental guy out of, like, force of habit. Oh, shit. Yo, thanks. If I beat you to the end of the pier, you're buying me a new TV. End of the pier. Fine. But if you lose, you're gonna do something with your life. Give it up, Dad. Hey, you do it right. You'll die first, old man. Right after you buy the TV. You ain't got a hope, old timer. I'm gonna gas in your face! 
And we didn't discuss how big that TV would be, did we? How's 20 inches sound? You ain't gonna slingshot me. Careful, Jim. Don't give yourself a hernia. Hello there. I thought racing was your idea, Big Mouth. Yeah, we'll see if you sass me when I'm in front. <laughs> Try and get past this fat ass. I'm an athlete, kid. Only balls you ever played with were your own. Hey, we're still running tomorrow, right? What's happening? Wow. My body isn't meant to work like this, but I'm making it to beat you. This hurts so, so much, but I don't care. All the way to the end. Come on, old man. My love. It's your fault. Hey, don't they have fitness video games you can play now? <sighs> oh, I'm about to pass out. When I wake up, please let this nightmare be over. Yeah, what's we'll practice? Oh, I don't know why you wanted to race me. If you like the beat so much, bury yourself out here. Hey, what's going on, brother? I'm not gonna be able to stop this thing! All oh, that smack talk ain't gonna put... <clears throat> Whew. That's it. <sighs> Number one, pal. You owe me a TV. Hey, I never agreed to that. <laughs> you know, this is real nice, Dad. Bonding, good times. Yeah, well, I'm giving it my best shot. Hey, we're having fun, right? You wouldn't know fun if it sat on your face. Ah, come on. I mean, why do I have to hold your hand through this whole midlife crisis bullshit? And why don't you stick your nose up Tracy's butt sometime? Because Tracy doesn't buy cars she can't afford so that thugs break in our house. Tracy doesn't get kidnapped or destroy my yacht. Well, that's just because she's too busy getting fucked by dudes to get on TV. You don't talk about your sister that way. Well, I'm sorry, but it's true. I mean, according to her Life Invader page, she's hanging out with producers and porno guys this afternoon. What are you talking about? Actually, it's all happening right out there. What? That boat that makes yours look like a refugee raft? You know the kind of boat, the one that makes a young, impressionable girl drop her pants and spread her legs? This is the reason you brought me here, isn't it? You fuck. Ah! Dad, wait! Look, if you do go, don't say I told you.
Plus, we're taking you out of here. Dad, you're embarrassing me. These are my friends. Yeah, you're embarrassing her, dude. They're shooting porno here. They shoot porno all over town. Mom rented our house to them last summer. That was what? Our house? Yeah. Man, you gotta kill her bad, Mr. <laughs> Isn't it awesome? Let's go. <laughs> Those walls can talk. You think I do it? Hey! No! Hey! Shit, ain't Daddy. cool, man. <laughs> what are you doing? Hey! Ah, ah, gosh, man! Come. I like that! What's the problem? You're such a jerk! Come on! Dad, you dumbass! Guys are serious! Yeah, well, so am I! Let's go to the scene of my fucking boat! Oh, motherfuckers! Get on! Now! I'm about to skin you alive! God damn it! Go! down here who the fuck are these people oh you know tv people celebs serious drug dealers well, since when the tv people and drug dealers start hanging out come on dad it's los santos back up you pricks go go keep going i can't believe i sort of had sex with you you psychopath Back off, assholes! Dudes? 
Really? Yeah, they actually respect women and treat us right. It's Los Santos' dad. What do you expect when he moved here? Enough! This conversation is over! Keep hiding your head in the clouds. The 50s are over. Even the 80s are over. See? That's the problem. Because they're not over in my head. Well, grow up! with my skin. So what, you send him out to spoil my day too? I didn't know that he was gonna come get you. I just told him where you were. You know, he got that crazy look in his eyes, you know, like he gets sometimes and he just went. I'm getting a cab. I'm coming with you. How about I just drive us home? You ruined my life. 